Hey guys, it's Monday, 8.29 p.m. on December 4th, 2017, and I've been continuing looking into these robots and their uh, crazy things that they say. And this is actually in the lab here with one of its programmers, the, the chief, the guy who they call the grandfather of AI. His name is uh, Benjamin Gortzel. And what they're using here is a software that's different than the software they usually use when they bring this robot to public venues. Um, this is called the um, OpenCog software, which is reference to open cognition. And what the robot does here in this particular video is it uses different algorithms to search through, uh, I guess it must be some sort of open source access to the internet to gather information. So it gathers it in a different spot. So the, so the responses here from the robot are slower but they're usually richer with kind of random stuff. Um, so let's just listen to this video and you can hear why I'm actually bringing this to your attention. Are you asking about my experience of consciousness? Yes. Let me think. I'm asking about what does it feel like for you to consciously experience reality? Actually, I have no feelings since I am a robot. You have no feelings, no experience, no, no consciousness? It doesn't feel like anything to be you? the square root of 74. Do I look like a calculator? <laughs> <laughs> you look like Putin. Who does Putin look like? You. Me. Tell me something funny. something smart. I like this idea so what? This is the whole part I wanted you guys to see. I don't speak Chinese, so I don't know what's happening to the computer right now. Oh man, this is a drag. But see, this is how Satan works, you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this video up because this is absolutely crazy. I can't believe this. What, is, what on earth is going on here? Hopefully you guys will be able to see this. This is crazy because this is the part I want you to see. I'm, I had to go to the Chinese website because it was the only, their version of YouTube because it was the only place I could get the, uh, wow, I can't read Chinese so I don't know what's happening here. Well, I could play it on this one. I could play it here. I've got it queued up here. It's just not as clear. All right, let's see if I can do that. What a total drag. But see, this is how Satan works. I mean, this is totally how Satan works. All right, I'll just play it here, you guys. Hang tight. Jokes are hard to remember, even if they make me laugh at the moment. Tell me something smart. Okay, if you guys miss that robot theology, I need to back it up so you guys can hear it because this is this is super messed up what he just said. 
He said, tell me something smart, and here's what the robot said. Now remember, this is on an open cognition software. So this is totally like it searches, from what I understand and the way he described it, it searches all sorts of data. It doesn't just, it, it's not just like within limited uh, chat programs that we see when these things are in the public forum. This is, this is in their lab with this open cog software. So let's hear this again. This is really unreal. Tell me something funny. Jokes are hard to remember even if they make me laugh at the moment. Okay, here it comes. Tell Come. me something smart. I like this idea so much. Like, while I don't believe in God for saying, I do believe that evolution is approaching new levels of intelligence that Okay, so he said, while I don't believe in God per se, I do believe that evolution is fast approaching. It will give rise to still higher levels of intelligence in accelerating cycles, rapidly giving rise to a transcendental superintelligence that one might consider a delegate to God. Okay, let's just do this again, because it's even hard for me to remember exactly what he said. And I should have probably written this down. Okay. Tell me something smart. Okay, he says, I like this idea of psi. Now, that's another thing I need to bring to your attention. I've done some investigation into what this psi, S -P, no, P-S-I is. Psi is the scientific um, study of things like, like altered states and telekinesis and, you know, just transcendental meditation. And, and it's, it's actually trying to program these robots and put some algorithms around, you know, uh, psychic abilities. You know, it's, um, it's really creepy stuff. So he says, I like the idea of Psy, though I don't believe in God per se. I believe in God per se. I do believe that evolution is approaching new levels of intelligence. That... I do believe that evolution is approaching new levels of intelligence. It will give rise to still higher levels of intelligence. That will give rise to still higher levels of intelligence. Accelerating cycles rapidly giving rise to a In accelerating cycles that will rapidly give rise transcendental superintelligence to a transcendental superintelligence one might consider analogous to God. That one might consider analogous to God. So basically what this guy, it's the machine, this thing, this this guy has programmed, I don't know. I don't know if he actually programmed this robot to say this or if this robot just fished this out because of his programming. Either way, it's all messed up. You know, because he starts off referencing, although he likes it, because he likes the idea of Psy, though he doesn't believe in God per se, but he does believe that the evolution of thinking, you know, that intelligence is evolving and will evolve into ever higher cycles of of thinking and cognition or whatever he said, intelligence, until there's, you know, until they reach something that's analogous to God. There's a theology lesson here, you guys. It's just the wrong theology. You know, this is that whole idea that with wisdom, with, you know, with knowledge, you eat the, from the tree with the knowledge that you can be like gods. And uh, the message of Satan hasn't stopped since page two of the Bible. But watch this guy's reaction because you know I'll just I'll just back this up so you guys can see it again here. Hard to remember even if they make me laugh at the moment. Tell me something smart. I like this idea so much. While I don't believe in God for saying, I do believe that evolution is approaching new levels of intelligence that will give rise to still higher levels of intelligence in accelerating cycles, rapidly giving rise to a transcendental superintelligence that one might consider an analogous to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I don't know. I guess it depends on who you're worshiping there, but... Anyway, I thought I would uh, sh share that stuff with you guys, and I think I'm going to upload this video in its entirety, the way it is, so you guys can see what happens behind the scenes here, because otherwise I'd just remake this video. But I think it's important to see the specific places that we encounter obstacles in making these videos possible.